Okay, I forgot to record this section here, so I'll just go through it. I have the notes. Um, we're trying to find actually what is the equivalent of the resistor when you switch to Laplace. S domain is really Laplace here. So if you go from time domain to Laplace, what do you do with the res uh, resistor? What do you replace it with? And if you use Ohm's law, you go, well, V equals I times R. So this current becomes I sub S. This is V sub S. You'll find out that the resistor in time domain, when you go to Laplace, stays the same. It doesn't really change. And if you want the Y equivalent, it's 1 over R. But where the challenge is when you have an inductor. An inductor, you know the voltage equals L di dt. The current equals 1 over L, the integral of V dt. So now, what is the Laplace of the derivative? And what's the Laplace of the integral? So that's where the problem is. How do we find the Laplace of the derivative and the Laplace of the integral? So let's look at the first one. So let me just write this in different color. Let me find different color markers here so I can write them down nice and neat. There we go. The Laplace of the derivative of f dt, f could be any function, is s times f of s minus f of 0 minus. And if you really want to look beyond that, if you want to do the Laplace of the second derivative of f dt squared, that's s f of s minus s f lowercase f of 0 minus minus f prime of 0 minus. And what is the Laplace of the integral? the Laplace of the integral. And this is equal to 1 over s f of s plus 1 over s the integral from negative infinity to 0 of x well I'm using f here not x f of t dt. So let's see how that's going to help me. Here is an inductor. This is the current going through it. This is the voltage here. And this is L. We know V equals L di dt. So that's equal to L. If you take the Laplace of that, that's what? s times v of s minus the current, not the voltage because that's the integral of the current, the current at 0 minus. So if you distribute that one, you will have ls v of s minus l i sub 0 minus. So you can replace this inductor. That's case number one. You can take this inductor and replace it with a current I sub S going through it. That's Laplace. An impedance of that S times L minus to plus 
L I sub zero minus. And that's the voltage across that inductor, V, as a function of S. So you can replace this inductor with this circuit. Now, if your initial condition of the current as zero minus is zero, this piece is gone, you end up with this. Or, there's an or here, because we're not done with this. Or, we know from this that L equals, I mean, L, I equals the current I as a function of time equals 1 over L, the integral of V dt. And if we do the Laplace of that, that's equal, there's the 1 over L constant, the Laplace of the integral is 1 over S times V of S plus 1 over S, the integral from integral negative infinity to 0 of, I'm looking for I, that's going to be what? I sub T dt. So what are you going to have? Well, in the bottom you can have LS here, that's constant. On the top, you're going to have Vs plus this will be L I sub 0 minus. And if you break it down, you end up with what? V of S over Ls plus the L will cancel the L I sub 0 minus over S. So the other equivalent for the inductor, you can either use this one, option 1, we'll call it, or you can use option two. And what is option two? We're saying this inductor is going to equal to the parallel combination of these two. This is one over SL or LS. That will give me that piece. The current through that, remember you're looking for the current. This is I sub S. The current is going to be the voltage here is VS. It's this voltage, I equals what? V divided by R. Well, if you're dividing by this, that's the reciprocal of that, so you end up with this expression. In addition to that, in addition to that, what are we going to have? We're going to have a current here pointing in this direction, pointing down, and the value of the current, that's I sub 0 minus over S. So you can use option 1 or option 2, whichever makes the problem easier. And we can do the same thing with the capacitor. I'll try to go through that quickly with the capacitor. There we go, in case you can't see it. I'll try to go through that quickly with the capacitor. So the capacitor, just like the inductor, this is I, this is the voltage, and this is C. We know I equals C dVc dt. We know V equals 1 over C, the integral of I sub T dt. So for the current, that's the derivative. So that's going to be C times. And what's the derivative of that? It's going to be S times what? V of S minus uh, V sub 0 minus, which ends up being what? C times S, S, C, C, S, whatever, 
minus s v sub zero minus. So again, for the capacitor, option one. Remember, that's a current. So the current will be coming down. You can replace it with the value of SC. And notice, this will be, if this is the voltage here, Vs, this will be the current coming down. So I need to subtract from it. Subtract, that means I got to point the current upward, not downward. Upward. And the value of that current, it, my mistake, that's a C, not an S here. We need to distribute the C through. The value of that one is what? C times V sub zero minus. And again, for the voltage, it's 1 over C. Let's do the integral of that, which is 1 over S V of S plus 1 over S, the integral from negative infinity to 0, I sub T dt. one over s, one over c is constant. So you'll have sc in the bottom. You'll have what? Uh, v equals, uh, uh, that's the integral of that, that's i sub s. So it will be i sub s here. And this one here is going to be what? Plus C, and that's actually what? The voltage at zero minus. So if you clean it, that's I sub S over SC plus the voltage of zero minus over S. So really what you have here, we're talking about a voltage, so they have to be connected in series. You can take that capacitor now, replace it with a value of 1 over SC plus to minus, has to be plus because that's a plus here, of the value of what? Of V0 minus over S. And that's option two. This is option one. So anytime you have a capacitor, you can replace either with this or you can replace it with this. This is the current going through it. This is the voltage VC as a function of S, the voltage across the capacitor. So if we have that, then we're done. Anytime we have a circuit, we're going to change it from time domain to S domain using these rules here then solve it there and change it back to time domain. We'll see that in the next example or the next video.